Hello everyone, Augusto here and in this video I'm gonna show you how I got this result here using Blender and the, the Gardner add-on. It's an add-on created by the guys, the B Production, which is a company that make add-ons for architectural visualization and VFX stuff in general inside of Blender. And for this add-on, you can just make any type of mesh become a bush using that add-on, which is great for me. So let me show you how it works. Here in Blender, I have a new scene and I have the add-on installed on my computer and I will add some objects to show you how it works. So I will add a simple cube. I will add also a uh, Susan, the monkey. And also I will add a sphere, a sphere, sorry. Just to make things a little bit beautiful, I will add a little bit of a bevel on this cube and I will bring those things up just one meter to make things float on the air a little bit, okay? So for the cube, what I'm gonna do? I just need to click in the eyedropper stuff, select, and I just need to select any system, click and click here in uh, load the system. So loading the system on the scene, what we're gonna see is Blender loading a geometry nodes system that will create those leaves and those trunks in our object. And finally, if I want, I can come here to my trunk section and I can select a trunk to make the base of my mesh. For example, I can select this one here, load a trunk, and as you can see, now I have a trunk below my object, making it a perfect bush, <laughs> which is great. Uh, let me do it again with another system. In this case here, I will select this sphere and I'll select a different system. For example, let's select this lavender here, which is a little bit different from other stuff. I will increase the size, apply the scale, load the lavender stuff, and as you can see, it will start to load the geometry using geometry nodes to ma make it appears on our screen. In the handheld view, let me show you how it works on the handheld view. There is a lot of particles in the, in the scene, so for that reason, it's a bit laggy. But as you can see, it's just amazing. The quality of the assets are stunning and I think it's one of the best that I find so far for this type of work, okay? And for now, I will hide this object from our viewport just to make things a little bit easier. And you can see that we almost can't see through our object, almost, because of the amount of geometry that is bring, is it is creating on, on our scene. So for this one here, I will also hide. Let's come here to the object object section and just come here to visibility and hide everything to make things easier for us. Done. And as you can see, this is how it's looking so far. So because we know that there is a lot of stuff going on and this can bring a little bit of lag, this add-on comes with a proxy system that you can just click here and enable to make your viewport more smooth. So also you can reduce the amount of particles do, during the time you are working to make it a little bit easier to work with. Depending on your, on your hardware, it won't be necessary actually, okay? So finally, if you don't want to have those systems on your objects, you can just come here and delete it by clicking in the trash can icon. Finally, let's try something with Suzanne. And with Suzanne, I would like to show a feature that I really like in this add-on, which is the make holes feature. So for example, if I put a box wood cut, on the Susan, load the, the system on the monkey. And let's turn off the proxy so for now. Yes, let's see the extra stuff. So I have an option to make holes on my mesh. So, so to do that, for example, if I want, uh, I can hide and see only the branches inside of Susan, which is great. But I would like to change the boxwood system. So I can make holes on that by clicking here in the make holes option, which we use a texture to make holes on that object. And as you can see, those holes will appear around the mesh. So let me hide it from the viewport just a little for a moment. And as you can see, you can use those holes, for example, to make it look more realistic. For example, I will put this in 1000 to have more of those things. I will increase the scale as well, just to make it appear a little bit more. Yeah. And you can change the options on those holes, just increasing the intensity of the rows. So you can see that they will appear more or less. So you can you have full control of that. And you can also change the scale of the holes by clicking here on the scale and changing the scale. It's procedurally generated with a, a noise texture, I believe. So you can use that. And also, if you don't like the feature, you think, oh, okay, I don't want holes. So you can just remove the rows and everything will become or oh, we'll go back to the normal. This is the add-on, I really like the final result. This is the scene that I was working with this add-on, which is 
amazing to see uh, how manageable this amount of assets are. There is a lot of stuff going on here, not gonna lie, it's a lot. My computer is almost, <laughs> almost dying because the amount of things that I have on my screen right now so far. But it's plenty manageable. I can just turn on my collection with my vegetation and I'm fine. Actually, vegetation and gardener, gardener options. And I'm fine. I can continue to work, as you can see. And also, the proxy system allows me to put more stuff on my screen without crash blender, which is also a great thing to have when you are working with those kinds of stuff. And we know that vegetation in general is really intensive for the computer to process, okay? So, if you like this add-on, the link to find the tool is here in the descri description below. And this is the result I got with it. I find it's pretty, pretty good. <laughs> if you would like to get more information about the add-on and see the price, the link is in the description below. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so every time I post a new video about an add-on or architectural visualization in general, you will know that, okay? Thanks for watching and I'll see you in our next video. Bye and take care.